and welcome to my video. I am showing you how to do this really pretty plum purpley eyeshadow. I actually wear this a lot. It's my favorite look to actually do. I love it. It goes with everything. I'm a cosmetologist so I do wear a lot of black. So of course anything goes with black. That's why I love this. Excuse there. It's 1 30 in the morning and this is what I look like at night. So a little bit crazy. Um, this is my first video that I've ever done so hopefully it's not too bad. I've always wanted to do one but I never can find the time between two different jobs. I was in school. I had extra education classes. It was really hard to find any time to film any type of video. So I finally decided you know what it may be one o'clock in the morning but I'm gonna do it. Just do it, get it done, get it over with, try it, see how it turns out. I don't think it came out that bad. I think it came out pretty good, actually. So, um, it's filmed on my phone. Just an FYI in the beginning, it's a little, it gets a little bit crazy. My camera is dead, so I don't have that to use. And my camera on my computer is not that good. So, my phone is the best camera I have at this point. I think it came out pretty good. So, um, I hope you enjoy. And here's the look. With my foundation, I already put it on. This is from Rimmel London Clean Finish in 120 Ivory. And I like it. It's very clean, very light. And I use also the Sheer Coverage Concealer. Love this stuff. Works very nice. Covers up everything. Next, I did put on my foundation powder. So, the next thing we're going to do is start with our all over lid. And this is from MAC. It is just, it's a very neutral, champagne-y type of color. I'm just going to take that, put this all over your entire eye. So next we're going to do our whole eyelid and that is going to be from Urban Decay. I'm not quite sure what this palette's called. Kind of wore off. It is going to be, if I can find it, this color right here called Grifter. Or not. Um, it's a really light violet with some sheens and sparkles to it. Stick that on. It's a really nice base because it is light. It's not so violety and so purple, but it has that little tint to it. So it does show really nice. I'm just going to also put a little bit right on the bottom of our eyes and inside the inner corner to give it some shine. We have that. Next, we are going to use Parfait Amour, also from MAC. That can turn it around. It's really pretty purple. It looks a lot more opaque than it really is. So, we're going to take that and we're going to take our blending brush. I really like these. These are from Makeup Forever. This is the 15S brush. I really like this one. We're going to take that, we're going to put it all over our crease and almost to the inner, all the way in the inside corner. We're going to make sure it's pretty much very opaque and very purple pack on that color. And we're even going to bring it a little bit on the inside. Make sure we get that nice and pretty much packed on there. Okay, so that will look like that. It's pretty much very opaque on there. So the next color we're going to use is also from MAC again, and it is Beauty Marked. It's a dark purple 
excuse me, with some sparkles in it. Very pretty. Love this color. Let's take the same brush, our blending brush. Make sure you pack a good amount on. Same thing. It does it doesn't show up as dark as you may think as purple, but it's a very pretty color. And take that and then put that right over just about where you had the other violet. And it's going to blend really nicely together. And make sure the same thing, you pack a lot of that on. And get that right in the corner. And kind of like flick it out a little bit. Have it come to a little point. My phone keeps doing something crazy. Make sure it kind of like wings out a little bit. And make sure you pack on the color. Same thing, bring it into the inner corners a little bit. So it matches up pretty well. And the same color you're gonna take and you're gonna put on your water line. At the bottom, just kind of blend it in a little bit. So with that looks very pretty. Last eyeshadow is again, it's from MAC. And it is Black Tide. It is a black sparkle, of course. I love myself my sparkles. You can take just a tiny, tiny bit. Just take it right on where you had your point and just kind of like pack it on there. Just right at the edge of that point. You may not think it does much, but it adds that nice amount of extra color to it. So we can see. It's really pretty. So next we're going okay, to do... So next thing we're going to do is eyeliner. And this is from e.l.f. It is their waterproof eyeliner pen. I think it's nice. It's only a dollar. I got it from Target. I think it's really good because if you go through eyeliner like I do... I don't want to spend that much on it, and I think it does the job just as well. I'm just going to take that, and I usually start right in the middle, and go to my outer corner first. And you want to make sure that it's pretty thick when you go in for your outer corner. And when you go for your inner corner, you want to make sure it gets smaller, that it's not as thick as the outer. So you just want to let up on your pressure. And so you have it nice and thin towards your inner corner. And then the best way I like to do with this is follow the lines of the eyeshadow up the eye. And then connect. And then bring it down a little bit. And that connects pretty much right up to the top. And it looks really nice. It's very clean. It follows right along with the lines. Sorry, my eyes are like watering for some reason. So next, we're going to do our eyeliner on the bottom. I like, I like to, to use my CoverGirl. I'm not even sure what type of CoverGirl it is anymore because it's so sharpened down. But it comes with a little like, spongy brush at the end, which is really nice to do for smudging if you want that smoky kind of effect. I'm just going to take this and put it all over the bottom of our eyes. My eyes keep like blurring. <laughs> so, next it's optional. I like to do it. I put on gel over top of the liquid eyeliner. I find that it just kind of like reinforces it, makes it a little bit darker, a little bit smoother, depending on your type excuse me, of eyeliner that you use. Again, this is from e.l.f., which is a little black liquid eyeliner. It actually works really well for being only a dollar. 
love this stuff. And it comes with a cute little brush. I use it. I also do use my regular eyeliner brush as well. But this, for travel purposes, works really well. You just take this, follow right over top of your eyeliner. Make sure you're very careful to not go too fast or put too much pressure where you're going to end up just overshadowing, like overshooting it and not covering the eyeliner and up adding more that you don't need. And then you can also put this, and I like to do this, put it on my waterline as well. And it's not bad for your eyes, it's not going to do anything to them. And again, it just kind of like helps reinforce the darkness and opacity of it. So our final, also optional step, is I like to put a little bit of purple right on the corner, outer corner. I like with my eyeliner, and this is from Sephora. It is in the color Violet Fantasy, number 14. Brush looks really nice. It's actually a very sturdy, sturdy brush. So I'm just gonna take that. Just kind of brush it on the outside and follow along that line. I think this adds like a nice little like pop of color on the outside of the eye. Then we run to eyebrows, which I like to do last. This is from, oh, it looks really good, Makeup Forever. It is number three. I just like to put a little bit right in the brow in the beginning. Just enough to thicken it up a little bit and then pull it out a little bit. It's completely up to you which way you'd rather do it. Our final step is our mascara. I like to use falsies. I actually really like this. Their ad saying that no more false lashes needed is is very crazy because you need lashes to have those like in the commercial but this actually adds on little filaments I guess you would say onto the eyelashes to make them look longer obviously it comes right off when you wash take your makeup off but it does add like volume and it does add a little bit of thickness on so you just wiggle it on to not put too much Best thing to do is not just like glump it on. I like to wiggle it back and forth a little bit when I put it on. Just to kind of make sure I don't get that too clumpy of effect. Okay, that. so my camera cut out right when I was finishing up. But for my lips, I like to keep it more on the neutrally side since the eyeshadow is kind of crazy and dark. You don't want to go too overboard with putting too much lip gloss or too much lipstick on so I just stick with lip balm. This is from EOS. Looks really cute. Um, very minty. Very minty flavor. Love this stuff. Um, that's it. This is the finished look. I hope you like it. I hope this was not too bad of a video since it is recorded on my phone. My camera is dead at the moment. So just leave comments if you have any good advice, any tidbits. Just let me know.